His name is Robert, Roberta. Ooh, this is a woman. Anybody who feels lost or feels like they don't have their shit together or feels like they, they, they don't know what's going on or they don't know where they want to be on my Donnell Jones. If you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Tell me baby why you look like that, walk like that, talk like that. You move it different so you push me back and you want me back but you hurt me back, yeah. I just want to be your baby. We ain't even got to do nothing crazy. I don't even want Okay, so I just wanted to go ahead and warn you guys. So I just wanted to go ahead and warn you guys that this video is going to be all over the place. I'm starting off yesterday when I was door dashing and now I'm going to, I'm doing like a whole like mental health talk today. So it's a lot, but you know, subscribe down below. Okay. Subscribe to the channel. You made it here. You already clicked on the video. You might as well subscribe. <laughs> okay. Hey everyone. So I'm doing another drive with me while I door dash. I'm in my mom's car so you can't really see me as well and it's dark as fuck outside but I'm purposefully door dashing right now because I make probably the most amount of money at night time especially when it's raining Turn left onto Hubbard Road. so I don't know if I'll be able to use this footage because it is hella dark and I do apologize because I know y'all probably like bitch I can't see you well I'm sorry but I tend to make the most amount of money at night I don't know what to tell you like I can't I can't help mile. it well I will talk to you guys when I get to the food place because my camera is hella blurry right now so you can't really see me anyway but I will talk to y'all when I get to the food place okay you want this bag so I'm cool with that I can't see nothing. It is so dark. Ooh. It's dark, dark. Come on, side angle. Let me put my music back on. They need some street lights. This is ghetto. Keeping it ghetto. In two oh, miles, the destination is on your right. Come through. Quarter after two just to put it down on you. So I just made it to the place and baby girl, <laughs> baby girl, this is ghetto, keeping it ghetto. But you know, it's okay, we gonna pick up, his name is Robert, Roberta, ooh, this is a woman. <laughs> we're gonna pick up Roberta's food and then we're gonna bring it ass to her house. Okay, oh, this man's looking at me, all right, bye. I know y'all can't, hold on, can y'all see me? Oh, y'all um, But long story short, I just dropped off that lady's food, um, Miss Roberta. And Miss Roberta, let me tell you something. She ordered from this like real hood um, U.S. fried chicken, and they didn't know what to do. Okay, Miss Roberta had a complicated order, and they didn't know what they was doing. So I ended up having to call her and just tell her like, "Hey, they kind of fucked up your order. Do you still want it? Like, can we?" <clears throat> all right so today is the next day i finished door dashing around like 8 30 or so but i only made like 30 dollars, so i did make a lot i worked for three hours and got 30 dollars. but you know it is what it is this lady is like definitely looking at me but i don't like what a, what is she gonna do she's not gonna come up to my car <laughs> she's not gonna run up on me so it don't even matter but I just recently left therapy before coming here to get some food and I wanted to kind of like have like a real talk with y'all I noticed the last time I had like a mental health talk with y'all you know I got some good engagement and you know I'm glad that we could be like a community here or be like a family where we can really talk about like real things and you know one thing that I'm making really important in my life especially with my mental health is I want to unlearn a lot of like the um things that I was taught when I was young like now being 22 having just graduated college I feel like a lot of people expect my life to be a certain way and unfortunately it just hasn't gone that way you know a lot of my friends that I went to high school with are already married or have kids already um and I'm just like I don't know that's not really what I wanted for myself I feel like I'm so young to do that <clears throat> I could do that another time also, you know, 
I'm newly single like I was in a relationship I use relationship very loosely because we were dating we never made it to the relationship stage but I was dating someone for six months um, that's why if you follow me on Instagram and you saw that I was always like in Philadelphia that's why um, and I'm you know we broke up literally like two days before my graduation and like I don't know it's just it's been a lot not in a bad way I think it's just been a little bit hard for me because that was my first like real situation or relationship whatever you would like to call it that was my first one because usually I'll date people for like two months and then we break up like anybody who knows me knows I cannot keep a bitch to save my life like I just cannot and if you didn't know I date women I cannot keep a bitch to save my life like I don't know why <laughs> um, but I just can't versus like with her you know we were together for half a year for six months um, but unfortunately it just ended up not working out because we wanted different things like I wanted to be in a relationship and she didn't and I knew she did not and that's where it was my fault because when I met her she said she didn't want a relationship and I said I didn't want one either because you know at the time I really didn't because I was living in New York and whatever um, but over time, like, I wanted to be more serious. And even though she kept telling me, no, that's not what I want, I kept trying to push her to do that. Or I kept trying to, like, convince her, like, well, but look at how I treat you. Like, you should. Why not? You know? Um, but unfortunately, like, that's not, you know, it just, it didn't work out. And I don't know if I'll ever be with her again. I really don't know. It just made me sad because I feel like we worked really well together. Like, not only was she someone that I liked and you know I had sex with whatever but she was like my friend like I know like on a friendship level like I could really hit her up and be like yo I need your help and she would do it but I don't know it just like didn't work out um and it's very painful because again she was like a friend to me and so it, it really does hurt that we're not together but I, this is just something I guess I have to go through in my life I mean I'm in my 20s so I'm gonna date people and like them and break up with them and date someone new and like them and break up with them and I'm I'm gonna do this for the next about 10 years of my life you know um but I think for myself you know I notice I have a lot of older friends like I only have one friend that is my age the rest of my friends are between 28 and 33 well actually my oldest friend is really 37 so <clears throat> excuse me I keep a lot of like older women around me and I used to think like oh I attract all these older women you know as my friends because they can give me wisdom or they can teach me things but now that I have had older friends for the last like maybe two years I really think I attract older women because they show me that it's okay to not have my shit together by a certain age because a lot of these older girls that I'm friends with they be going through a lot okay baby girl they be going through a shit ton of stuff um with men so it is a little bit different because you know a lot of my friends are straight but they they be going through a lot with men and it's like for me it almost makes me feel a little bit better to know like oh I'm 22 and don't have it together because this woman is damn near 40 and still doesn't have it together you know what I mean and I, and that's kind of a part of life like to anybody who feels lost or feels like they don't have their shit together or feels like they they, they don't know what's going on or they don't know where they want to be on my Donnell Jones. If you love someone, you just don't treat them bad. Oh, how I feel so sad that I want to leave. Um, <clears throat> I, I felt like that. Like, you know, like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I want to be. Like, my whole life was just about graduating from college. Like, when I was in high school, my mom was like, well, you got to get into college. Then when I got into college, it was like, well, you got to graduate. So now that I have finally graduated and it's over, now all of a sudden everybody wants to ask me, well, what do you really want? What do you really want to do? Where do you really want to live? And it's like, well, damn. Ain't nobody really asked me that before. You know, I haven't even really thought of it because my whole time I was just trying to get the fuck out you know trying to get the fuck ASAP I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas this video will probably come out after Christmas so I hope you had an amazing Christmas and you know a happy holidays this holiday season has definitely been very trying one a really close family member of mine passed away um about a month ago and then and now another family member has passed away so it's just been like a lot going on emotionally and internally 
and unfortunately I have a, most of my friends are in relationships or they're you know very seriously dating so you know I don't really feel comfortable to like talk about those kinds of things with them because it's like one I don't want to look like I'm complaining but two like for me I don't I feel like at this these are things I need to deal with by myself because it's like it's very hard to explain your feelings to someone else who's not you you guys know what I'm saying like it's really hard to explain that because you know I love my friends but my friends are very much all over the place especially when it comes to my former relationship like you know one of my friends is like well girl if it didn't work out fuck her move on date somebody else then someone else is like well if you really care about her like you know you guys can make it work and then someone else is like well I think you should just do what works best for you and at this point it's like well damn you know and I don't want to be that person that continues to complain about the same thing or the same relationship and then like nothing changes because to you girls out there and girls and boys who be complaining about your significant other to your friends only to get back with that person you might as well have saved it because I have been the friend excuse me where I'll have friends that will complain to me and cry to me and say fuck him and he's so terrible and look at what he did to me and this nigga is the worst and blah 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 and then they go right back to him what was the point of you complaining then what was the point of that and at this point now I have learned to just treat it as oh this person's just venting but they're not serious even if the person really tells me you know I'm gonna break up with him I'm not gonna believe you until you do it so on my end I am just here as your friend to listen to you vent because that's really what you're coming to me for you know a lot of, of the biggest lesson I've learned two very big lessons this year the one the first big lesson is that a lot of people come to you to vent not for advice they want to vent they don't want your opinion so don't you know if you're that friend that feels like oh well my friend just keeps complaining to me about the same guy or the same uh, friend or the same family member or the you know what I mean they or the same job whatever but they don't do anything about it you have to treat it as they want to vent they don't want your opinion another thing too I have learned this year that there's a very big difference between reconciliation and forgiveness <clears throat> I have forgiven every single person in my life there are some people who are gonna watch this video who I haven't spoken to in the better of three years that will be very surprised to hear this I have forgiven every single person who has ever I've ever had an issue with I've ever had a problem with anyone who has deeply hurt me in my life from friends to my father to anybody I have forgiven them however <clears throat> I'm not reconciling with a lot of people <laughs> and that is a very different thing forgiveness is more about you where it's like I'm not walking around with pain and with hurt and with you know this feeling anymore however you don't have to reconcile with everybody there are some people that I have reconciled with that you know we can talk now because we didn't really have an issue back then and then there are some people where unfortunately it's just it's not gonna work out and we don't need to ever speak again but there's no hard feelings if I ever saw them in person I'm not gonna cuss them out we're not fighting in the street I don't have the time or the patience for that but I just know that us trying to re reconcile whatever we had before is not gonna work and it's it mostly is because we're too different we were too different then but we are certainly way too different now you know because our lives went in very different directions a lot of my friends from high school I don't talk to anymore and I think some of them probably feel like I have an issue with them or a problem with them but really it's just because they have kids and are married and whatever I am not you know I'm trying to do hood rat shit with my friends you have a baby at home that you have to feed like it's just our lives are very very different and what we are interested in is very very different how we socialize now is very very different I can get up and move to any city in the world that I want to especially now that I have my college degree a lot of you know the people I grew up with or whatever they have a child to think about or, or they're in a very very serious relationship that they have to think about I'm single and alone like I don't everything is just up to me now if you guys have any opinions on anything I've said today please leave them down in the comment section below if you have anything you want to share or anything you want to add like 
definitely I would really appreciate it you know I love talking with you guys getting advice from you guys or just hearing you guys the stories um, of the things that you've experienced I really wanted us to be like a community on here I, I don't if y'all notice I'm not the youtuber that's like get me to f f uh, 50k get me to 100k get me to a million like I'm not that youtuber like I'm more like I want us all to be cool you know what I mean like I want us to be friends I don't I don't care necessarily about being the biggest youtuber in the world anymore which is a big realization for me like I I don't care about that kind of stuff anymore now I just care about the people that do follow me that we have a close relationship so anyway that's that on that um, if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like me don't forget to subscribe down below um, again leave a comment for anything that I've said today um, I hope you guys have had a great holiday season and yeah I will see you guys in my next upload I love you so much bye